Hello again, it's me, and today I'm presenting you with a lens of a new brand that you probably won't have heard of before, the Zonlai 22mm f1.8. It's a small, wide-angle lens with a bright maximum aperture, and it's designed for mirrorless cameras only, not digital SLRs. I'd like to thank Sane Sonic for providing me with a sample lens for testing, although as usual this is a totally independent review and not sponsored by them in any way. It comes in black or in silver, the version you see here. Its image circle covers an APS-C sized sensor, so it's available for Fuji X and Canon EOS M camera systems, Micro Four Thirds and Sony E-mount, the version I'm testing today. You can use it on Sony's full-frame mirrorless cameras too, but you'll have to shoot in crop sensor mode. I shot most of my sample pictures using my Sony a7R II camera in crop mode because then I could use that camera's in-body image stabilization. This lens itself though does not have image stabilization or any other kind of electronics. It's totally manual. Manual aperture control, manual focus. Focusing manually with a modern digital camera is pretty easy if your subject isn't moving. Just use focus peaking or magnification to get your images in focus. I've come to like manual focus lenses, still they're not everyone's cup of tea and it's tricky with moving subjects such as one day old baby lambs or children. But the lack of electronics keeps the price down and this lens costs a very reasonable $160 or £115 here in the UK. The closest equivalence lens I can think of to this is the excellent Canon 22mm f2 STM for Canon EOS M cameras and that costs £200 so that demonstrates how much more you have to pay for autofocus. Anyway, back to the Zonlai lens itself. I enjoyed testing it for a number of reasons, the first being its focal length, 22mm on a crop sensor camera is the equivalent of nearly 35mm on full frame, which is one of my favourite focal lengths, a nice wide angle, but tight enough to give you a little emphasis on your subject. And the bright maximum aperture of f1.8 means that you can shoot in dark situations and get pretty out of focus backgrounds if you're close enough to your subject. The lens is very inexpensive, but I think the look and feel of it is actually quite nice. It's made of metal and based on a metal lens mount. It comes with a slip-on metallic lens hood with the Zonlai logo on it, but also there's a clip-on plastic lens cap if you prefer. You also get this nifty looking lens hood. The whole design of it is really interesting to me, quite retro in a way, harking back to lens designs of the 60s and 70s, but with a touch of Chinese edginess. I quite like it. The focus ring turns a long way, over 180 degrees, so it's very precise and easy to use, and it turns smoothly, but a little loosely. The aperture ring also works fine. It doesn't turn quite as smoothly, but it does have gentle clicks at each f-stop, which is usefully tactile for stills photographers. Overall, I like the lens design. It doesn't exactly have the solid feel of a Zeiss lens, but actually it works well, it looks interesting, and it's comfortable to use. Alright, image quality. Here I'm testing it on a Sony A5100 camera with its 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. Straight from f1.8 in the middle of the image, sharpness is very good, and contrast is not bad. Over in the corners, we can still see some quite good sharpness actually, although the very edges are blurry. There's also some noticeable colour fringing. At f2.8, sharpness and contrast markedly increase to being very good, although the edges are still a bit blurry. The middle of the image also sees a nice increase in contrast. At f4, the middle is about the same, but the corners become a bit more punchy again. At f5.6, the blurriness we saw in the very edges suddenly goes away. This is the lens's sweet spot of sharpness, f5.6. Stop down to f11 and you'll begin to see softness from the effects of diffraction. The chromatic aberration hasn't quite gone away though. 
So, when it comes to image quality, it's not a simple story for the Zonlai 22mm lens, but generally its resolution is very good across the image frame, even at f1.8, it's a fairly sharp lens. In real world pictures, you'll always see plenty of detail where you need it, but colour fringing in the edges of your images might be a little noticeable. Well, let's look at vignetting and distortion now. The lens projects moderate barrel distortion, and we see pretty dark corners at f1.8, unsurprisingly. The corners become far brighter at f2.8 though, and this is the level of vignetting you continue to see even if you stop down the aperture further. So pretty average results here. Let's see about close up image quality. The lens can focus down to 15 centimeters, nice and close, for lovely pictures of smaller subjects. At f1.8, the close up image quality is a bit soft. Stop down to f2.8 and it becomes sharp, and at f4, very sharp. Let's see how the lens works against bright light. The answer is, not well at all. We see tons of flaring and a loss of contrast. You'll definitely want to use the included lens hood whenever you can to help keep it down. Finally, bokeh. This lens's out of focus backgrounds have a slight edge of busyness to them, but overall the bokeh is fairly smooth and undistracting, as you can see in my sample pictures. So overall, Zonai have made lenses under other brand names before, but they're hoping that lenses under their own brand name will come to be seen as being a cut above other low budget manual focus options. I quite like its design and functionality, it's enjoyable to use and has a very practical focal length and maximum aperture. I found its image quality to be decently sharp at f1.8 and very sharp when stopped down. It can focus closely to your subject, and I liked its colours and its bokeh potential. It has its technical limitations, the barrel distortion is noticeable. There's some chromatic aberration, and its work against bright light is not good. More expensive lenses will offer you more in those areas, as well as a little more sharpness, but ultimately, the images this Sonai lens can get you are really striking and detailed, and it's very good value for money, so I'm happy to say that it comes recommended.